let's make a basic assembly in autodesk inventor so this is the our main part a simple cube you will see the dimensions length width height all 20 millimeter corner radius all uh, 2 millimeter all dimensions are in millimeter all corner fillets are 2 millimeter material brass we will create a part and we will do a simple assembly in autodesk inventor you will see this is the dimension of this assembly 40 by 40 20 20 this is lies at together now here select new first go to template metric and i'm going to create first part so i'm going to select a standard millimeter part ipt file create now active click start sketch i'm going to select this xz plane now see this sketch tablets open activate here two point center rectangle now start from origin point click and drag your mouse 20 press tab key 20 enter now right click say ok now see this is fully constrained drawing at right bottom finish sketch now activate extrude feature now see here profile already selected because this is only one closed profile sketch start condition also selected now the next thing is behavior you have to change direction so we will keep positive direction it is moving upside only at distance 20 millimeter say ok now activate here fillet now here first add constant radius age set the first one then comes to dimension age select 2 millimeter I put dimension and I am going to select these four edges even hidden edges also visible now here you will see at bottom one plus sign apply again again we have to select edges and dimension 2 millimeter and I am going to select upper edge that's why I choose this separate because it will give you a perfect shape see okay here comes material it's general brass let me give some different appearance so that it looks metal 24 2400 Fahrenheit hot okay now let's save this one you you can choose your destiny basic assembly and this is going to be let's say box one IPT save now I'm going to change this color blue now this one don't click save click save as now let's simply change box to IPT file dot IPT file save now that's it now go to file new and select new and i want to make assembly so if you go to metric you will see here option is standard millimeter because i want to make assembly in millimeter so i'm going to choose a standard millimeter iam dot iam file create now this is the assembly environment now simply activate here place because I want to simply place part now let me search desktop basic assembly now let me choose part 1 open now see this one view front view is you can rotate if you move your cursor it will rotate uh, along with cursor just go to activate here isometric view and see now even though if you want to rotate this x y z right click and see rotate x 90 degree y 90 degree or simply place place grounded at origin now again it, it is asking you would you like more number of things say ok we don't need now by default it is fixed or grounded you will see the symbol grounded it means fixed you can't rotate this part 
here you will also see if you want to make some more part just simply hold shift key select this box and drag and leave see this is how we created the second part even though if you want to place some more part simply again go to place now first we all always use this one is sufficient for us to do create import a part box to open now see it is moving along your cursor just place somewhere else and right click and say okay we don't want anything else okay so this is the simple how we import part in autodesk inventor simply activate here constraint now we want to make relation between these two constraint now first assembly now here type what type of constraint we want to make in between so first i am going to select mat type this one now first selection by for default it is activated so let's say i am select this one now hold and uh, press and hold shift key and middle mouse and rotate your part and i am going to select this face now apply cancel now let me check what kind of relation is created now see now see this relation is created here again constrain again activate same type now this time i am going to select this one and this one front view now look these two are selected due to this solution we want to change flush now look the position change now it is in one line apply now again i am going to select this one and this face now here by default it is selected flush even though you can apply distance here let's uh, we will apply on the other one so apply now again let's select the upper face and this face now here if i am going to say flush it will make like this but we don't want to be like this i, I just want to be like this apply now select this face and this face right view now if you want to apply offset distance let's say 5 mm now see the gap between these two become 5 mm but we don't want to keep any gap or anything something let's say zero and here check flush make mat okay let me choose flush okay that's fine apply now hold and press shift key and let me select these two faces now this is going to be flush say okay now if i am trying to move all the parts are fixed along have constraint al along each other so this is how we simply make a a simple assembly in autodesk inventor i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in autodesk inventor thanks for watching